This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. On this episode of Ask the Buffalo, we're going to hit all the major tech buzzwords. We're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S3. We're going to talk about a rumored iPad mini. We're going to discuss which tablet is the best on the market and everything tech related that crams in between those categories. This is Ask the Buffalo. I'm John Rettinger. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so our first question comes from user Nick, and Nick wants to talk tablets. Hey, John, I'm thinking about getting a tablet. I was wondering what you think might be the best Android tablet now, and what might be coming out. There's really only one clear answer in the Android tablet world. The best tablet out there, the best one that I've tested, and I've tested almost everything, is the Asus Transformer Prime, uh, powered by NVIDIA's quad-core Tegra 3 processor. The thing is an absolute screamer, and especially since it got upgraded to ice cream sandwich. It's an extremely beautiful tablet. Its IPS display is awesome. Videos and text come out there and just pop. The design feels really industrial and high quality. The speakers were awesome. Everything about that tablet just screams good. So if you want to get an Android tablet, that's definitely the best one on the market. There are some new ones coming out that are looking to contend. We've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 that we tested. I found it to be a very uh, suitable alternative. But when it comes to quad core and the latest that Android has to offer, the Transformer Prime still reigns king. Hopefully that helped answer your question, Nick. So our next question wants to discuss cell phones and which one is the best. This is a question that I got quite a bit from user Alpha. He wants to know, John, which is the best, the HTC One X or the iPhone 4S? So a bit of a background, there are two variants of the One X, one that's hitting the US and it's one that's hitting international. Uh, international has NVIDIA's Tegra 3 processor and it's one that we benchmarked and we sort of dubbed the king of Android. And then there's one that's dual core with the Qualcomm's S4 chipset in it, which we compared head to head, by the way, in case you guys are interested. Uh, check out technobuffalo.com for that. That does have LTE, the European version does not. So it's really gonna vary. When it comes down to the quad core version versus the iPhone 4S, uh, I'd side with the quad core version of the One X. Uh, AT&T's version though, we have not had a chance to test and be able to get our hands on and see how it's going to work. So I'm going to withhold judgment to determine whether or not the US One X uh, is better than the iPhone 4S. So hopefully, uh, Alpha, that helped answer your question. All right, so our next question comes from user Road16 who wants to talk Samsung Galaxy S3. This many. Will the Samsung Galaxy S3 come out on AT&T right out of the gate? And I presume you mean, will AT&T be one of the first, if not amongst the first carrier to carry the device? Well, we'll see on May 3rd when Samsung takes the wrapper, so to speak, off the Samsung Galaxy S3 in London. Of course, Techno Buffalo will be there to bring you the coverage. AT&T was on board with the original Galaxy S. They're on board the Galaxy S2. So I'd presume that they'll be on board the Galaxy S3. However, when they get it is yet to be seen. Uh, I don't know, would expect them to be one of the earlier carriers with it. Uh, it's GSM. Presumably it'll have LTE built in. Uh, so it would be a perfect match for AT&T's airwaves. I do expect variants though uh, to eventually hit all four major US carriers. And one of the awesome things that you'll be able to do on the Samsung Galaxy S3 is watch videos. And I want to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. You know Netflix, you love Netflix. I watch Netflix. I just watched season one of Mad Men with my wife on Netflix. Uh, it streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movie streaming directly to your PC or Mac, right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want. You go ahead and cancel any time for a limited time. If you, and I'm talking to you, Mr. Sitting There, with your head and your left hand watching this, you can get a free 30-day trial of Netflix. So all you have to do is go to netflix.com slash buffalo and sign up there, and you'll get your free 30-day trial. you show your support for us, what we're doing. If you are in the UK or Ireland, Netflix is now available where you are. Our viewers can also get the same awesome deal as we can in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash buffalo or netflix.ie slash buffalo. So hopefully you guys will be able to get your Netflix on. All right, so our last question wants to talk about the rumored, fabled, white 
Elephant, Unicorn, Yeti of the tech world. This is the iPad Mini, and Tech Nerd wants to talk about it. It says, hey, John, I saw the rumor about an iPad Mini. I was planning on getting a BlackBerry Playbook for its amazing price and capability. It says the iPad is pretty expensive. So do you suggest I wait for the iPad Mini? What do you suggest? Rumors of an iPad Mini have been circulating for a while. Uh, Steve Jobs has really made no secret, especially in his biography to Walter Isaacson, that they were testing different sizes. But they eventually settled on that 9.7 inch. Uh, do I think we're going to see an iPad mini? Um, yes and no. Uh, it certainly would be a Trojan horse to new revenue streams for Apple. Uh, people obviously buy iPads, they buy apps. Uh, but at what cost? It would it be a lesser experience, and Apple is really high on the end user experience. So would you have a you know, last generation processor in there? Would you have an A4, an A5, some modified version of an A5X chip? Uh, that really is yet to be seen. And how do people adopt that smaller screen size? Certainly devices like the Playbook, the Kindle Fire, have shown that that sort of seven inch tablet is a very viable option, but Apple has sort of yet to go that way. Apple waited a while to get into the ultrabook market. They didn't go sort of the cheap route that folks were going with netbooks at the time. They went for a premium product. Uh, so perhaps we'll see the same thing from Apple. Rumors have been that this thing might launch at a $249 to $300 price point. Uh, perhaps we might see it launch at the same price point as the current generation iPad, and users can choose what size they want to get. Uh, so the answer to your question, tech nerd, I don't know. And anybody who says they know is lying to you. Uh, do I think it's coming? I think if Steve Jobs was still with us, I could absolutely say no, an iPad mini is not coming. Uh, but Tim Cook has different goals and different vision. So it's about 50-50 on the iPad mini. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see an iPad mini? Would you be interested in an iPad mini? Is an iPad mini what you've been craving? Uh, I want to hear from you. Leave your comments right on down in the what have you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for your latest tech news, rumors, reviews, awful jokes and videos. Uh, I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh Welcome back to another episode. <laughs>